Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. It is Kevin here and I've decided I'm gonna record another video standing up. Mainly because I've noticed that during my last video where I was standing up, I seem to be more energetic and I just, I, I, I'm feeling the standing up today. You know, I'm feeling it. You'll have to excuse the wet hair. I just got out of the shower and I unfortunately forgot to shave. Look at this nastiness. You know what, I'm too uh, jazzed and tired. At the same time, too tired to shave, too jazzed, shave. Does that make sense? I wanna record this video, is basically what I'm saying. Today's video is Brooke over at By The Brook, which I always link her in the description below when I talk about her and her little face can pop up on the screen. She came up with this like writing challenge type thing that I really wanna do called like, I don't know what she called it actually. Mm, like what do you need first, what do you don't need to, mm -hmm. I should probably looked this up before I started recording this, but basically what you do <laughs> is you make a list of things that you think that you need to write and you put it all in like a little cup and then you pull two of them out and you go head to head. Which one wins, which one has to be thrown away and which one do you keep? Which one do you need to write? But then the catch is, is that when you have all of them out, all the ones that survive the first round go back in and go in for a round two. Basically what this challenge is to do is to kind of like narrow down people's perspectives. At least this is how I took it. I think this is where Brooke meant. <laughs> it was to narrow down what you really need to get writing done. Like, what do you really think you need? It's not I'm taking it, Brooke. I feel like for me, a lot of the times, I think I need all this stuff. I need everything in a particular way. But this video is gonna figure out and show me what I really need. Should I turn on the, the light? I feel like the natural light's okay today, but <sighs> it's awful. I don't think I want the ring light on today. What do you think? Well, it doesn't really matter because this video will already be done. This is the cup that I chose for today. I got this at Aquarium of the Pacific. It's super duper cute. Look, it's got a little otter on it. It's one of my favorite coffee cups. Aquarium of the Pacific. If you live in SoCal, you probably recognize what I just sang to you. It's from the commercial. So this is the little otter friend that's helping us out today. I just hit myself in the face. I was gonna do a little time lapse of me like writing down everything and putting it in the cup just like Brooke did so I could be like, oh, like Brooke, but I don't know how long it's gonna take me and uh, I might struggle a little bit. So I'm gonna just skip ahead and we're gonna, it's gonna be full before you know it. It's gonna be full of things. Hoping for 10 things. I think that's what she did. Oh wait, is this an ass? I don't know what it is, but standing up gives me way more energy. Maybe it's this light too. I feel like, eh, but like ASMR, you hear that? Anyway, I'm gonna go fill this up and we'll be right back. Okay, ASMR, we'll be right back. It's called What Would You Give Up or Keep While Writing Challenge and yeah, I totally just read that off of YouTube. But you know what? I remembered it now. I actually had to say it about seven times on the way over from my couch to right here just so I wouldn't forget. Because I have a bad memory. <laughs> Turns out while I was trying to come up with these, I was I got kind of stumped because like I know there are things that I need, but when I'm put on the spot to think about it, I get like kind of lost. So I went ahead and watched Jenna Street's video, which again, linked below. Turns out she also tagged me. So Jenna and Brooke both tagged me, and so I'm gonna do it, and it's full of things, and I may or may not have stolen some of Brooke's and Jenna's, but I needed inspiration. And it's like it's it's true, I feel like there's things that like, people universally need. Water, which is one of my things, but I'm not gonna tell you what they are until we get to them. I was aiming for 10 and I got 14. Mm, okay. I also made them on these little tiny papers, and I know that once I throw these on the floor, Elf Elf's gonna come running in here, and he's gonna be all like, living for it, because he loves, I don't know if you have a cat, anybody out there, but Alfalfa, my cat, if you don't know who Alfalfa is, he loves to play with paper and trash and receipts. Buy him a new toy, he don't care. Buy, give him a Starbucks receipt, he's happy. Number one, oh, I dropped one already. Let's see what tried to escape my fury. Uh, dirty desk. Okay, so every, I just want to go on, on record as saying, the reason why I wrote down dirty desk is because Jenna and Brooke both wrote that they need a clean desk to write. I am the complete opposite. As I could, I guess, I don't know, I thought like that was a thing. Creatives are always like messy. Maybe I'm just trying to like feel better about the fact that I'm messy, but my desk is a mess right now. But to be honest, like I know where everything's at and I don't really want it clean. I don't like it looking sterile. I like it looking like it's being used. So that's why I wrote down dirty desk. Okay, or music slash instrumentals. I actually put these two together because for me, music is more when I'm editing if it has lyrics and then instrumentals is usually when I'm writing like a, f like writing. Mmm, dirty desk or music. Um, uh, you know, I didn't think this was gonna be as hard as it was right away. Like Jenna was all like, she knew everything, and then Brooke like struggled a little bit, and I was like, I don't know which one I'm gonna be. It turns out I'm the struggles one, because this is actually really way more difficult than I thought it would be. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Dirty Desk, just because I I often don't, I often write silent, so. Okay, next is my bullet journal, which is similar to what um, Jenna had. She had like her to-do list. She had like a journal planner thing. I'm obsessed with my bullet journal. I have a, a sprint tracker in there, writing trackers, reading trackers, everything in there, so bullet journal. I always have it on my side when I'm writing, along with the pen, but I didn't write that down. Versus snacks. Um, This was actually pretty easy for me. I don't often snack. I don't, well, okay, I wouldn't say often. I do sometimes snack when I write, but uh, not that often, because I don't like to get my keyboard gross, so. 
I usually stop writing, go have a snack, then come back. So I'm gonna go with bullet journal. Snacks or goodbye. Goodbye, snacks. So now I want a snack. I got this new popcorn, like pre pop popcorn in a bag that's buffalo brand. I mean, buffalo flavored. So good. I want some of it right now. So coffee or my outline. Mm, okay. I am a heavy outliner. Well, I say that, but like, I feel like the longer I'm on author tube, the more I start pantsing things. But I still think I need my outline. But also coffee. I am a caffeine addict. I drink a lot of coffee. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna get rid of my outline. <gasps> Gasp. Cause I can somewhat remember what's going on in it without having it written down, I hope. Next is comfy clothes. I actually wrote comfy. I didn't even write comfortable. I didn't even notice that. Comfy clothes or my cat alfalfa. I wrote this down kind of as a joke one, but if you follow me on Instagram, you might know that whenever I'm trying to work at my desk, alfalfa loves to crawl up on my keyboard, lay on my mouse, attack my hand while I'm trying to do things. I'm sorry, alfalfa, but comfy clothes, I care more about comfy clothes. That was kind of just a joke one. Oh, am I supposed to be shaking these? Jenna shakes them every time. Shake it. <sighs> okay, author tube videos, which I agree with both Jenna and Brooke that like sometimes you like go watch them to be inspired. I often write a watch, huh? watch author tube videos to be inspired, so, hmm, or walks. So this is something that I often do when I get stuck on a story or something like that, or like I need to brainstorm as I go on walks. Like today, I went to the post office to ship out some Etsy stuff and then I walked around just because I like, I was thinking about one of my books and listening to the soundtrack of it. And I was like walking and like brainstorming and thinking about things. So walks really, 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 really help me. I also so do author two videos. This is actually a really difficult one because I really like getting inspired by the people writing, but I also like my walks. It's nice to be outside. I'm gonna, sorry author two, but I'm gonna go with walks actually, just because it's a little physical and I could use more of that in my life, <laughs> let's be honest. Okay, I don't know how many are left. Oh, I think I only have four left. Okay, uh, okay, I just saw one, so I'll just grab that one. Water or earbuds? Um, I usually use earbuds when I'm like doing a live video or something like that, because Damien, I love with Damien, my boyfriend, he's also a writer and he has a desk literally across from mine, so I often use my earbuds when doing things so I don't bother him. But to be honest, I need water more than I need my earbuds. Sorry, Damien. Like, I get so thirsty so easily. Problem. I know what one of the last two is. Ugh, okay. Okay. My fan slash air conditioning. So, I, you may not know, but I'm not a super skinny dude. I'm not a twink. I'm, I'm a bigger guy, right? And so, I need a fan or AC going. Even right now with this, like, ring light on, I'm not wearing a sweater today, Laura. You can't complain about me saying I'm hot with the sweater on. I'm hot. I'm not wearing a sweater. It's awful. It's just California is so hot right now. Jenna can attest to this. Or Google. Um, I Google things a lot while writing, but I'm gonna say my fan or AC. I can't. I can't. I'm like sweating right now. Okay, round two. This is way harder to put these back in the cup than I thought it would be. Let's shake this stuff up. What do I need to write? I don't even know. I oh, it's so gross with the shape, without an unshaved face. Comfy clothes or drum roll walks. Mm, okay, let's be honest. Couldn't you just write no clothes? I'm kidding. Don't demonetize. I'm just kidding. I don't make money off YouTube. Walks or comfy clothes? Um. I could live without the walks, but the comfy clothes, I hate being uncomfortable. Sometimes I get home from work and I'm like, oh, I have to wear these, I just wanna get out of these clothes. Oh no! I was hoping this wouldn't happen. I had a feeling at some point it was gonna happen. Coffee or water? Listen, I get really thirsty really easily, so water helps me stay hydrated, but what is coffee except for hot bean water? So I'm actually gonna pick coffee over water. Oh, but if not, I'll just fall asleep, and what's the point of, Writing if you're sleeping. As you know, if you watched my vlog this past week, I slept like every day because I didn't have enough coffee. I can't believe I just picked coffee over water. I think that's just there's something really wrong with me. I did the same thing Jenna did, and I somehow ended up with an odd amount. How did I manage that? Were two of them stuck together? Okay, I don't know how I did that. Which one did I mess up? I literally just went through all the ones on the floor to make sure I didn't double up any of them, and I didn't. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I messed that up, but fan AC or bullet journal. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, bullet journal, I love you, but I need that AC. I'll die if not. Okay, but I guess that fan's gonna go right into my dirty desk and you know what I could write with a clean desk can't write without air I'm really irritated how did this happen Jenna cursed me Jenna lives anybody anybody watch awkward yeah Jenna lives yeah okay three left are comfy clothes coffee and fan slash AC um uh, oh my gosh this is harder than I thought it was gonna be this video is also longer than I thought it was gonna be I can't believe I lost one what if it was the one and I'll never know that it was what I needed Stuck to my butt. I don't know. Okay, comfy clothes, coffee slash fan. I mean, fan slash AC. Mm, okay, clothes wise, clothes wise. If I'm super uncomfortable, can I write? No, but you know what also makes me uncomfortable? Being hot. As much as I hate to say this, I can write without the fan AC. I've done it, I just don't prefer it, so I guess that's gone. Comfy clothes or coffee? Uh, <laughs> okay, 
I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I think this says a lot about me. Coffee's the winner. I have a coffee addiction. I know I have a coffee addiction. I blame my mom for it. She gave me coffee at way too young of an age. I came out of the womb drinking coffee, okay? I know my mom drank coffee when she was pregnant with me. That was my lifeblood. That was my that was my literal blood. I love coffee. I love coffee in the morning, in the afternoon time, at night. I can literally drink, drink a cup of coffee and go to sleep. I like even like decaf. I just like the taste of coffee. I like Ethiopian coffee. Oh, Ethiopian coffee is so good. If you've never had it, go have some of it. It's just so good. It's like, oh my gosh. I don't really want some coffee. You know what happens when I drink coffee? It gets me, it makes me hot. And in LA, that's not great because it's already hot, and then the air conditioner, I already gave up. So all I have is coffee and sweat. Ugh. Well, that's all I got for you today. A sweaty mess, a sweaty bright mess of a Kevin. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and um, tag a few, and by a few, I mean like six people, to do this video because I actually really enjoyed it. And not that I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it. Brooke, I love you. Um, oh my gosh, I told you, I told you. Alfalfa was gonna go for the trash. <sighs> He's living for it right now. Speaking of trash, I'm gonna start off with tagging my sister, Laura. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill me. I'm gonna go ahead and tag Laura from Laura Writes, April from April K, Moon from Moon Petri, Lindsay from Lindsay Puckett, and Jessica from Jessica Williamson. That's only five people, I thought it was six. I'm bad at math. I'll go ahead and link all their channels below if you've never heard of them or never watched them. Go ahead and watch them, they're all great people and you'll enjoy their videos. And if you don't, you're wrong, they're great. Watch their videos. I can't believe Alfalfa is just rolling around on a trash heap of paper. I mean, I can't believe it. Anyway, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button below because it really helps out the channel. If you love the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos ever again because you're amazing and so am I. Let's just be friends. Until, uh, I don't know when my, my vlog is going up this week to be honest. I think it's going to go up on Saturday. But yeah, okay. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you later. G goodbye. ASMR goodbye. Like, I have one back. Okay, okay.